How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and this video is going to be on the update on the server issue right now and also some of the brand new content that has come out in NHL 22 Hot today, right? So I hope you guys are enjoying the content. If you are, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And uh, basically I'm gonna give you guys an update on the servers and then show off the content, all right? So around 4.30 today, guys, the servers went down uh, on NHL for a lot of people, right? So they certainly went down for me as well. I came up at the top, right? It said that you have been disconnected from the EA servers. And uh, yeah, that we don't know what was going on. And uh, to this point, as I'm recording this, the servers are still having a lot of issues. I'm currently on it. Uh, but last check, I saw there's about a thousand people right now on Xbox Series X. Before the servers went down, there's about 5,000. So clearly, a lot of people are being affected by this right now. So I did some research and some digging around. EA is currently looking into the situation. So you gotta assume a fix will be made here in the next little while here, probably within the next hour or two, you gotta assume. I can't put an actual timetable on it, but that's just my guess. And uh, we'll see if, uh, if I'm correct or not. But that's what really the big update is on the servers. All right, but let's go into the hot content that has come out today, all right? So look at this, 99 overalls for Mario Lemieux and Wayne Gretzky. So on this day for both of these players, history was made. So on May 17th, 1987, Wayne Gretzky be becomes, becomes the first player, becomes the first player in NHL history to score 200 career playoff points. Dude, EA, you gotta, you gotta, please, 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 EA, you gotta, you gotta, please, peer review what you write. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, 99 Lemieux, May 17th, 1991, Mario Lemieux sets a franchise record with goals in his seven, goals in his seven straight, goals in his seven straight postseason games. In, okay. And extends his team record point streak to 15 games. I, I think that's right. I, it seems still kind of weird to me, but dude, that's making my head hurt. I'm not gonna lie. But I mean, these are still very good cards, regardless. Next up, we have the new game day tilt, actually, guys. Another two came out. So we got two for tonight. We got two for tomorrow as well. So the two for tomorrow now are Noah Hannafin and Zach Hyman. And damn, the Noah Hannafin looks pretty nice. He's got 90 Excel and 90 speed right now uh, with Sparks. So he has 92 Excel uh, currently. And, and Hannafin's active. He gets hits. He gets blocks. Uh, he could get, definitely get some shots as well. So that should be a good card action. Probably going to make him actually, because why not, right? For the fun of it, might as well make the Hannafin and, and we'll see how he ends up going. But he could be a really, really good card. So uh, the Hyman as well. I mean, Hyman plays on a, a top six role for Edmonton as well. So he definitely go up uh, quite a bit as well. Then some play of the year cards. Igor Shesterkin, Jake Gensel, Joel Hofer as well are some of the cards that came out today. Uh, then you also have the primetime cards. Dennis Morgan, Adam Lowry, Balsers, Texier, Galchenyuk, Roselli, uh, Blitchfeld, and Moser. So there you go for some of the primetime cards. And then, uh, yeah, that's really pretty much, uh, that's pretty much that. Uh, besides the fact that uh, some new packs uh, were released as well. So you have the highlight real pack and the please of the year pack. So uh, nothing too insane when it comes to the packs, that's for sure. But I don't think too crazy as well when it comes to the overall content today. I like the game day tilt guys for sure. Some of them are actually usable. Hanifin could definitely be a guy that I'm probably going to make. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it though, guys. Uh, as I mentioned, the servers, I do believe they will be fixed in the very, very near future. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully that's correct. And uh, yeah, we'll see what EA, if they give any compensation. No, they probably won't. I was going to say because uh, it was right before Rivals was going to end, right? I was lucky to actually stay in Platinum. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it though. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, some more videos on the way. Make sure you guys check out the podcast as well. Me and Thrash too. Hope you guys did enjoy this video though. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe. If you're new to the channel here, follow me on Twitch, Henrique, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrique with three E's, and join the Discord to talk to me, followers, and subscribers of the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.